I think it's a right ankle sprain. Um, we'll see how he feels uh, tomorrow, but definitely uh, hurt it, so he couldn't come back. So, um, but I think the X-rays were negative, so that's a good thing. Uh, I hate to start with this, but I don't think I've seen a game this season where you guys were so at odds with the officiating. Uh, is there anything generally you could say about? <laughs> no, I think the officials did. Yeah, they, they did their job tonight. Um, you give Oklahoma City credit; they were the better team. Um, we we turned the ball over. You know, we had 19 turnovers for 30 something points. Um, you're not going to beat one of the best teams in the in the West by turning the ball over, and we we have to be better. And when we didn't turn it over, we got in the paint, we scored. Um, we also got to the free throw line. So um, nothing about the officiating. I think just the conversations uh, with the officials. That, that, that's just part of the game. Um, but I, I thought, again, on the road, on the back-to-back, -back, um, without Luca, I thought the guys did a great job. The energy and effort was there. Um, being able to take care of the ball, that, which Oklahoma City is very good on the defensive end of, of coming up with steals. And then us, also, we just didn't rebound the ball well. We got the misses. Uh, we just didn't finish the plays tonight. You, how happy were you with guys that like the effort and like uh, Hardway and, and those guys that picked up a lot of this, this slack? Yeah, I thought with some of the injuries and uh, people having to leave the game because of, of the injury, I thought Hardy was great. Um, being, and as we've talked about this, you're going to get an opportunity. I thought uh, he did a great job tonight. Gaff was great. Uh, looking at, you know, small ball. Um, a a lot of times we st we stayed with Gaff and D Live, um, and then we went with the small group with PJ and uh, Maxi. Um, but I thought Timmy was great, uh, knocking down shots and competing. Um, I, again, our leader Kai, uh, he led us uh, tonight without Luca being out there. I thought he set the tone and he was really good tonight. Yeah, quick turnaround. Seeing both of them really back to each other, competing really hard. Yeah, I think it, that's the, that's what you know the NBA is all about. The best teams are going to compete at this time of the year. Both teams are fighting for something. Um, and so uh, I thought it was a competitive game. Um, there's going to be some missed calls. That's just part of the, 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 the NBA. Um, but you got to play through it. Um, again, um, we just had costly turnovers. If we would have got shots, make or miss, uh, we, we could put ourselves in a better seat. But give them credit. They were good tonight with Oklahoma City. Before the game, you were talking about how physicality is picking up around the NBA kind of here toward the playoffs. Did tonight, maybe 19 turnovers is not like what you want to do in a playoff game, but uh, did it feel like almost playoff intensity? Yeah, I, I thought we handled the atmosphere. This is a great atmosphere uh, to play in when you come on the road. Um, I thought we handled that well. Just the live ball turnovers and, and then understand we can be better with the ball. Um, but again, when we were good with the ball, we got to the paint. I thought, again, Hardy was aggressive, being able to find guys. Timmy was being able to knock down shots. Um, again, playing without Luca, we gave ourselves a chance. So everyone in that locker room, um, you know, should be proud of themselves. We just came up short. And, you know, Gafford's streak came to an end, uh, <laughs> had to end somehow, or at some point, but uh, to be that close to a a record by Will Chamberlain is pretty amazing. Yeah, it really is. What he's done and what he's brought to this team, um, just not on the offensive end, about the streak, but the streak is very impressive when you're talking about the, the likes of Will Chamberlain. Um, not too many people are in that air. And so uh, for Gaff to be there, uh, to be mentioned with Will is pretty special, but also on the defensive end, he's a big part of that, being able to protect the rim um, and then also being able to rebound the ball. And so it, it's, it's really cool. Unfortunately, the streak did come to an end. Is the goal uh, with the closing lineup with PJ Washington and Maxi Kleba to space out offensively and be able to switch on defense? Is that the yeah, main you, yeah, being able to uh, switch uh, and, and try to stay out of the rotations. I thought in the second um, where they made a three or four threes, it puts our bigs in the in the rotation, and we just were late. And so, looking at PJ um, and Maxi being able to switch and being able to guard the ball, um, they have two of the best. Uh, when you talk about off the ball or being able to play off the dribble, uh, Williams and, and Shea. And so um, that, that's what we looked at. They, got, we, they made some shots still, but they also had some misses. And then on the offensive end, just to give our guys space, I thought Kai took advantage of that.
Uh, Coach Cephas, uh, there was a period late in the game where some words were exchanged between Kyrie and some fans. Do you have any insight on what was said? Was anything offic- oh, sorry, offensive or was it just friendly banter? Or? I, that I don't know. You would have to ask Kai what was said, um, and you would have to ask the fan. Um, I don't know what was said. Appreciate it. Thanks.